Let's start the day off at Target. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another video. Hopefully, you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. Starting off the day here at Target looking for a magic bullet for myself in the house to make sure we can keep ourselves healthy and make a lot of juices. If you like what you see in the video, smash the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe, you dig? Those are all coffee makers. All the little short things. Are these blenders? Those are the more coffee makers. I need a blender, not a coffee maker. Let's go to another line. Thing is, I don't even know if I want to stay in this line. This line is looking too crazy. I might as well just go ahead and order order from Amazon Prime, bro. I thought I got here a little early, but it is 11. I think they open up many hours earlier. So if I see something I want, I'm gonna get it. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Amazon route. Oh, they got them all here. Ninja, Nutribullet 59. Oyster, huh, which one, which one? I came for the magic bullet, I don't see it. But oh, there it is, magic bullet right here. That line is just so fucking crazy. Maybe I just go to the self-check line. Magic bullet, this is the one I want, man. I had the neutral bullet. I'm hearing they're both good. Let me know which one you guys like. They both are rated four and a half stars, almost five stars on both of them. So I just don't know, man. I feel like, uh, I don't know. What would you guys do? I have the neutral bullet. Maybe we should go with the magic bullet. 600 watts, 250 watts. Let's go ahead and go with the neutral bullet. Came for mission accomplished. We're about to go ahead and get in this line. Hopefully this self-check line don't take too long. I usually don't like dealing with the self-checks, but I think they come in so much more handy. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be easy to done. So now, we're gonna do this and I'll see you guys. And once again, we are back at Northridge Mall. Go check out a few stores. We got some time. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go. Lots of deals still, still red tags. So you got these Kyrie Lowe's for 60 bucks still, bro. That's a good price for these things, man. Normally 130. And then the PG ones, which I think are pretty dope too, for $49. 79 for the uh 79 for the going dark. I think we've seen this one before, right? At this price, or have we seen it cheaper? I'm not so sure, but that Nike check looks pretty dope, and it got that going dark feature. Super dope Kyrie 6, man. I'm a fan of these Harachis right here. Let me know what you guys think about these. The cherry red ones. 110.99 now. Hopefully they go down a little cheaper, but they are pretty dope. I honestly always thought these were pretty cool. More for girls, these are women's. Uh, they normally 170 down to 70 bucks. So hundred dollars off. That's pretty dope. Used to be 180, now down at 129. These uh, fire red, cherry red, ultra boost, pretty dope in my eyes. What do you guys think? Normally 145, down to 119, which is a very dope price point for these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I remember when these first dropped. They were pretty uh, sought after. 160, now 69 bucks. Pretty good price point. Very light shoe. We might have seen these at the outlets a plenty of times. But I think this is a lower price than maybe that. I don't know. What do you guys think about this colorway or the Element 55 Reacts, period? Once again here at JD Sports with the club going on in the background, of course. Just going to look around briefly and see what's going on. You got a line here for some things. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, let's just look around and see what's popping. So you see they got the, uh, the reverse breads on deck, too, here at this shop. I guess I got the extra laces on deck. I didn't know these came with extra laces. That's pretty dope to know. That's pretty far to know, actually. And then they got these, the uh, Hyper Royal 13s, which are a very far shoe. Of course, I do own them. Actually, let's go ahead and talk about these real quick.
So they have another colorway, which I haven't seen yet or even promoted, of the uh, Kawhi Leonard. Pretty fire colorway, bro. What do you guys think about this? Is this something that would make you want to cop the shoe? I'm not mad at what they did with this, bro. From a 1 to 10 scale, what do you guys rate these? So let me know what you guys think about these, of course, in the comment section below. Let me post this for the members. But these sizes that they have in front of me are pretty big. And then they also have uh, this one right here on deck two. Big sizes left. I guess some people scooping them up. I don't know if anybody wants these sizes here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. They have another colorway of the uh, Zoom Freak 2s, man. We saw some, we saw these just yesterday in the last video at uh, Burlington downtown for 40 bucks. They got them here for 95, so that's why you gotta go to Burlington. You're gonna find some stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then these right here, the bread colorway, I think it's pretty far, 120 on these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Now, what do you guys think about these Iversons? Never have I ever seen these before. Got patent leather on them too. 140s the retail. These are pretty fire, bro. 1 to 10 scale, we got to rate them. And then they got these also still. But I think these are these are definitely one of the better ones that have released recently. Let me know what you guys think about that in the chat. So once again, we get another look at a bigger size of the Curry 8. Very, very light shoe, man. What are you guys thinking about these? I know there's some people out there who like them. 160 price point, I'm not too sure. They are very, very light, so they might work well on the court. If you're somebody out there who's tried them already, let me know. And they also have it in the gold colorway. We've seen both of these in smaller sizes, but it's gooder. It's better to see them gooder. <laughs> it's better to see them in different colorways in bigger sizes to kind of get a look of the whole shoe. 160 on these also. Another shoe that's new to the market, the Adidas. Harden 5. $100 retail. They didn't go up on the price point for the fives. Look like a sleek shoe. Look like it would be comfortable to hoop in. You know, it has to be light. I mean, it feels light to hand. Um, the colorways, I'm sure they're going to come out with are pretty sick. But this black and co white colorway is pretty dope. We definitely seen some other colorways, but this one is fire. Next up, look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Another Ric Flair Dame 7. King of Drip. Ric Flair. This colorway is fire. They have two colorways so far of the Ric Flair edition of the Harden or of the edition of the Dame 7. Uh, this is the second Ric Flair tribute shoe, bro. That's pretty dope. I didn't know he was such a Ric Flair fan. This one, and then they had the blue one, which we saw at the Adidas store in Glendale. What do you guys think about this in the comment section below, though? It's pretty dope, pretty unique. Air Ray in a Peace colorway, KD 13s in the Nets colorway, pretty dope. Got some Christmas style blazers in here, not too bad. What do you guys think about this colorway? And then they also got these Court Purple or Laker Purple ones. I think they're pretty fire too. One in 10 scale. What do you guys think about both of these blazers? Definitely fire. Black and white Prestos. Triple black Prestos. What do you guys think about the Prestos, man? If you own some in the comment section, let me know. In the chat right now, let me know. Now these and the kids, I'm telling you, kids always get some different colors that are pretty dope, man. I think this colorway is fire. Witness 5, okay. Hopefully they come out with these in adult sizes. I don't know if I'll cop, but still, I like this colorway, man. From a 1 to 10 scale, what do you guys think about these? They always got good exclusive uh, accessories. The headbands here on deck. Like I said, people are going to be stocking up on these things when the... Well, who knows? What's going to happen? Then they got the Lakers hats, which represent those jerseys they just wore the other day on Christmas, I believe it was. Cop has fire and trash on these. This Lakers hat. Never really seen this colorway, but it must be a kid size. You feel me? A kid colorway. And they still have some of these mids on deck, too. Which come and go, man. They got on the show, then they disappear, then they come back, then they disappear again. I guess they keep restocking. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway also. I kind of like this colorway, this Air Force One. It's definitely different from what they've been doing. Uh, lighter too. What do you guys think about this? Is it too much colors or is it fire? I'm not sure the retail price is on say right here. Uh, I guess they are 120. Cop pass, fire, trash. So we indeed have somebody looking for these. I found them, they are retail 130. Uh, here at Foot Locker. Let me know if you guys want them. LeBron, 17 low. Aggie match for 129 as opposed to 160. I think we've seen them a little cheaper somewhere else, maybe. 
Now these hybrids are down to 99 bucks, which I think is dope as opposed to the 140 price point. 99 bucks is pretty dope for these. Air Max Lite 2, normally 150, only 39 bucks. Only 40 bucks for these. These are fire, dude. This colorway is dope. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. I mean, that 40 not that $40 price point is, is a steal, really. I don't think we see them this this cheap at the outlets. Now. I don't know. I've seen them cheap at the outlets, but I don't know for 40 bucks though. We definitely talked about these before. Normally 130, only 49 bucks. That's pretty nice, man. And this colorway of the Element React is not too bad. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Still have some Jordan 9s and on deck 190s to retail on these. Very, very dope shoe. They sold out online, I believe, right? Uh, you don't see them at too many stores nowadays, especially since Christmas was here. But uh, I guess there's one that slipped through the cracks, or maybe this is a return. I don't know. What do you guys think about these, though? So they still have the Jordan 8 beat roots here. Some people did like them. Uh, maybe not enough to pick them up just yet because they are 190. Fire shoe, fire colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these. And if you guys own a pair or picked them up for somebody for Christmas, you know, let me know. The material on these uppers, uh, these uh, NMDs are pretty different. 130, I mean, I guess they still are the same price point, but this texture is just like more like a nylon as opposed to a mesh, I guess that's what it is. Fire red colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. So it was pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think about everything you saw. The music is loud. I'm about to get out of here. Let me finish this outside, you dig? So if you enjoyed that video, I need to know in the comment section below. Smash the like button. Make sure you leave comments, subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new, and make sure you share the video with your friends and family so they can come on over here and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and DM me on in the comment section or in IG. Without further ado, man, I'm about to get out of here. Deuces. <laughs>